Like so many points of light in the infinity of time. Like so many specks of dust giving birth to the visions of tomorrow. Our past was inscribed here. So will be our future. David Ben-Gurion dreamed of a university at the desert's edge that would tap the energy of a new nation. Ben-Gurion University of the Negev is realizing that vision. Its people are scientists and physicians, scholars, educators, and researchers, exploring the frontiers of knowledge. They're new immigrants and veteran Israelis, Jews, Muslims, and Christians, immersed in a sea of history. People from Israel and around the world, shaping the future. In this sophisticated research complex, they're working at the leading edge of science. This is nanotechnology, forging a relationship with the tiniest building blocks of our universe. We are trying to talk to atoms. That's what we do in our lab. The size of single atoms is 0.1 nanometer. Nanometer being a billionth of a meter. We take a single atom and we're actually building a dictionary from human language to atom language. The way we interact with atoms usually is by light. We are actually sending light uh, to the atom, but we imprint our words on the light. We want to be able to tell an atom, go right, go left, go up, go down, count time, calculate numbers, measure the gravitational field of Earth. The atom knows how to do all that. You just have to be able to uh, ask it the right questions and get the right answers. And where could those answers lead? Inspired by their surroundings, Ben Gurion University researchers dream of tiny robots to repair our bodies. Materials so light and strong we could build an elevator to outer space. Computers far more powerful than anything known today. Solar energy and desalination so efficient they could truly turn the deserts green. Ron Fullman's quest for knowledge never ends. He's one of many talented researchers drawn back to Israel by the university from promising careers abroad. Coming back to Israel is coming back home. Uh, this is my home. I love this land. Uh, I love the rocks. I love the soil. I come down to the desert uh, because it has so many intriguing things in it. So this is a real completion of the circle. And for me, it's, it's a fascinating journey. Reaching and exceeding the limits, they're at the core of this university's character. On campuses in Beersheba, Stable Care, and Elat, in the natural sciences and medicine, business management, engineering, and the humanities, its people are focused on new horizons. As they look forward, they also reach out to the people of Beersheba and the Negev. More than a third of all Ben-Gurion University students volunteer in the community. Pharmacy student Magali Majal spends several hours each week with a 10-year-old boy named Sneer, providing help he can't get at home. The university really encourages volunteering to raise the level of the city and to contribute to its people. It's very successful. She's taking part in a unique humanitarian endeavor called Ma'agan. Students from the Faculty of Health Sciences and the Charlotte and Jack Spitzer Department of Social Work volunteer at this support center, reaching out to people whose lives have been touched by cancer, to them and their families. Like a family, Ma'agan provides for body and soul in group activities and quiet conversations. Its founders know the ordeal faced by people fighting for their lives. I knew the loneliness that people feel, particularly in a hospital. And I wanted a home-like setting where people can get together as friends and just talk about it. If you want to cry, uh, one of our mottos is it's okay to cry. Uh, 
You want to scream? That's okay. Two people help each other. Now Maagan is expanding, moving into brand new facilities that will help it bring its gift of compassion to more and more people. I couldn't think of anything that could give me more joy. This is one of the joys of our lifetime that others will be able to enjoy. Excellence means preparing a new generation of leaders steeped in knowledge and rooted in enduring human values. The university's Joyce and Irving Goldman Medical School at the Faculty of Health Sciences leads the way in research and clinical practice, while its Medical School for International Health in collaboration with Columbia University attracts students from leading schools abroad. It takes on the challenge of health education and disease prevention in harsh surroundings. Rania Okbi takes that challenge personally. With large families and many hereditary ailments, Israel's Bedouins have special needs, not always met by existing health services. I wanted to help people when they're, when they're sick. I wanted to help people when they need help. And I'm not talking only about medication. When a person is sick, he needs someone to listen to, or someone who can relate it to his pain or to his sickness. So I really wanted to be a part of this. That was her dream. In realizing it, she made history. Her patients and their families may not know it, but Rania Okbi, a graduate of Ben Gurion University's Joyce and Irving Goldman Medical School, is the first Bedouin woman ever to become a doctor. The Ben Gurion In the Negev will be tested the people of Israel. That's what David Ben Gurion said. People committed to influencing and improving their surroundings. People like Ron Fulman on a sentimental journey to Yerucham, a rural desert town where he once volunteered as a teacher. A nuclear physicist working at the frontiers of science with a very down-to-earth vision of tomorrow. We are making the desert blossom in another way, and that is through people through science, through high-tech. That's what Ben Gurion University is all about, giving shape and substance to the future. There's a pioneering spirit here. There's a lot of dynamics here, and there's an enormous feeling of enthusiasm. There's a strong culture. As much as has been done, there's a lot to do here. And I think one of the benefits of being a supporter here, whether it's financially or otherwise, is you can see the results of the fruit of your labor. Ben Gurion University of the Negev, turning vision into deeds.